Hey everyone, it's Lisa Purdy and back with you again, continuing our journey in Genesis and I'm on chapter 38. Here we go. At that time, Judah withdrew from his brothers and went to lodge with a certain Adulamite named Terah. There Judah saw and met a daughter of Shua, a Canaanite. He took her as his wife and lived with her. She became pregnant and bore a son and he called him Ur. And she conceived again and bore a son and named him Onan. And again, she conceived and bore a son and named him Shula. Or they were they were living at Chazib when she bore him. Now Judah took a wife for Ur as his firstborn. Her name was Tamar. And Ur, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord slew him. Then Judah told Onan, Marry your brother's widow, live with her, and raise offspring for your brother. But Onan knew the family would not be his. So when he cohabitated with his brother's widow, he prevented conception, lest he should raise up a child for his brother. And the thing which he did displeased the Lord, therefore he slew him also. Then Judah said to Tamar, his daughter-in-law, Remain a widow at your father's house till Shelah, my youngest son, is grown. For he thought, thus perhaps it, if Shelah should marry her, he would die also. As his brothers did, so Tamar went and lived in her father's house. But later Judah's wife, the daughter of Shua, died. And when Judah was comforted, he went up to his sheep bearers at Tema with his friend Hira, the Adulamite. Then it was told, then it was told Tamar, listen, your father-in-law is going up to Temnath to shear his sheep. So she put off her widow's garments and covered herself with a veil, wrapped herself up in disguise, and sat at the entrance of Enanaim, it's E-N-A-I-M, which is by the road to Timna. For she saw that she, Shela was grown, and she was not given to him as a wife. When Judah saw her, he thought she was a harlot or devoted prostitute under a vow of her god, goddess. For she had covered her face, as such women did. He turned to her by the road and said, Come, let me have intercourse with you. For he did not know that she was his daughter-in-law. And she said, What will you give me that you may have intercourse with me? He answered, I will send you a kid from the flock. And she said, Will you give me a pledge deposit until you send it? And he said, What pledge shall I give you? And she said, Your signet seal your signet cord, and your staff that is yours hand. And he gave them to her and came in to her, and she became pregnant by him. And she arose and went away and laid aside her veil and put on the garments of her widowhood. And Judah sent the kid by the hand of his friend, the Edulamite, to receive the pledge from the woman's hand, but he was unable to find her. He asked for the men of the place, where is the harlot? or cult prostitute who was open openly by the roadside. They said there is no harlot or temple prostitute there, here. So he returned to Judah and said, I cannot find her. And also the local men said there was no harlot or temple prostitute around here. And Judah said, let her keep the pledge articles for herself, lest we um, be ashamed. I sent I, his, this kid, but you have not found her. But about three months later, Judah was told, Tamar, your daughter-in-law, was played, has played the harlot, and also she is with child by her lewdness. And Judah said, bring her forth and lest let her be burnt. Whew, that's intense. When she was brought forth, she took the things she had, he had given her in pledge and sent them to her father-in-law saying, I am with child by the man in whom these articles belong. Then she added, Make out clearly, I pray you, to whom these belong, the signet seal, signet cord, and staff. And Judah acknowledged them and said, She has been more righteous and just than I, because I did not give her to Shelah, my son, and he did not cohabitate with her again. Now, when the time came for her to deliver, behold, there were twins in her womb. And when she was in labor, one baby put his hand out, out his hand and the midwife took his hand and bound upon it a scarlet thread saying this baby was born first but he drew back his hand and behold his his brother was born first and she said what a breaking forth you have made for yourself therefore his name was called Perez breaking forth and afterward his brother who had the scarlet thread on his hand was born and he was named Zerah scarlet 
All right, that's it for today. I hope this helps you in your journey and you have a great day.